Alright, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to import a custom stamp for as-built marking on PDF drawings. A lot of companies nowadays are using PDF drawings to send to their customers and text in the field. That way uh, they have the easier flexibility with PDF since everyone can view that pretty much on any computer and you don't have to release the CAD files to your clients or customers, end users, etc. So with that said, most of the time when you're done with a job, you can have your CAD engineers convert anything over to PDF for you, including your as-builts. Once they've been uh, done in CAD, have them switch them over to PDF, email them to you, and then at that time, you can review them and stamp them with an as-built markup and send them to your customers. This way you don't have to print out the drawings, physically stamp them, scan them back to give them copies and whatnot. So it just saves a lot of time and, and money. Uh, basically, I'm working in uh, Windows 8, so it might look a little different than some of your guys' computers. And I'm using uh, Adobe Reader 11, version 11. So uh, here I just have a, a, a drawing that we're going to use for the example. Uh, I know normally you'll put the Asbolt stamp down on the title block or the border. I'm not going to scroll down just so you guys don't see uh, which company's plans these are, but I'm just going to go ahead and place it here so you guys can get the idea how it works. And like I said, I know some of you are going to be confused. This, this, this looks a lot different than most Adobe's, so this is version 11. Basically, if you go over here to comments, it'll uh, open up this section here, and you'll have a stamp icon. If you click the drop-down button here, you've got all these different sorts of stamps that already come with it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, you can create a custom stamp if you have a PDF of it. But in this case, we're going to... Um, just paste what we have on our clipboard image as a stamp tool. So to get that started, we obviously have to get a as-built logo onto our clipboard. So we're going to go ahead and minimize that. And I have another PDF that I created here where I took an as-built stamp in our office and stamped it down a couple times on a blank white paper just to get a couple of different varieties. And I uh, scanned it in, and this is the result. So this is a PDF file as well. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to select one of these that we like. I'll just go ahead and use this bottom right one here for the example. I'm going to go up here to edit, take a snapshot, and then with this, uh, the icon changes to the crosshairs. You just want to basically highlight it, and as soon as you let go, it'll take a snapshot of the area you selected, and it'll copy to the clipboard. So now we have that done, basically go back to our floor plan that we want to mark up as an as-built. Come over here again to the stamp tool. Go to place, place oh, sorry, paste clipboard image as stamp tool. The little stamp icon comes up. We'll just stick it down here. And as you can see, it comes up a little bigger than we like. If you just click on it, you can resize it any way you want and move it around. And there you go. So now once you save the, the file, you can just save it as an as-built and uh, send that to your customers, end users, or whoever is requesting it. So I hope that uh, helps you guys out, uh, marking up some as-built and sending it to your customers. Thanks.